Are you looking for the best electric trimmer? My wife got me this one a few years back ago for Christmas, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about how I use this electric trimmer in our house. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and my wife gets me for Christmas to use to cut my hair. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So what we have here is the Wall Color Pro Complete Hair Cutting Kit. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. On the little top thing here, it says it's the number one clipper brand. I didn't even realize that. And they actually also make like massagers and all kind of other things too, which I found interesting. Uh, but I know them for their clippers. And uh, this one in particular, it's called the Color Pro because it has uh, a little color coded uh, uh, label right here to let you know the size differences for the different heads that you can put on it and so that it's easier for you to grab which is actually super nice especially if you're like a barber or hairstylist or something like that uh, I could see how that would be very 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 beneficial for you but the main reason that I use this thing is to keep my beard soul patch thing right here trimmed and I keep my sideburns trimmed as well in between haircuts and so I actually wanted to demonstrate this for you guys today. First of all, you know what? I found the box that uh, it came in. And I wanted to show you guys every little thing that, that's in the box right here real quick before we get into the demonstration. So it comes in this little bag, all the little accessories and whatnot. And they give you a little uh, detailed brush to be able to clean it out. I actually have an older one that's bigger that I keep. I use this one more than the other one. I find that it works better and it's faster to clean. They give you a couple of combs in here of different sizes and teeth, uh, teeth, what do you call that? In, in Teeth, like the spacing in between the teeth. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> and then they give you all these, see they're all different color codes and they have numbers on the top. Like this one right here is number eight. This one right here is number, I guess that'd be a nine or is it a six? Who knows? Uh, and they, they, let's see, how many are One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten different ones, and then there's uh, this little thing right here that you use to for your uh, the, that came on it, and then there's some oil that comes in there as well, so you can oil it as well. So they give you a whole bunch of different things that you can use to like do different haircuts and fades and all that type of stuff using this uh, this kit. But I want to show you guys my actual use of it. So let's see, we're gonna zoom in on the mirror here. Let me go ahead and plug this thing in real quick. Y'all can see me in the mirror. Good. Plug that in. First of all, I'm just going to click it on for you guys. It's got a nice little clicker on the side here. It's got a nice uh, uh, click to it. Listen, you can actually hear that and it's indentioned. So your finger fits in there really well to be able to click it on and off. Not too loud at all either, just to give you guys an idea. Makes a really nice sound. I use the number one guard whenever I'm trimming my beard or my sideburns. It does make it really short. It's one eighth of an inch. I don't know if you guys can see that there. If the dang thing would focus. There we go. Or a three millimeter right there. To release it, it does have a nice little, just like little pull tab thing here. Just pull this back and kind of lift up. Uh, to put it on, you want to make sure that these teeth get over the little uh, cutters right there. And then you want to snap it into place. Nice weight to it as well. It's obviously made of like some, some good heavy quality uh, steel in there, which I really like. And you can actually see some of that quality right here on the top. Um, so I really, and you can even see like the quality of the screws that they use to make sure everything stays in place. So I really, really like it. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. Y'all go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy showing it off to you guys for the first time. Now I did want to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's, the, it's on the box. It says that they're the number one clipper brand. Uh, you guys let me know that down in the comments below if y'all have ever used any wall products before. So I'm going to do a little trim right here of my soul patch beard thing. I'd love to know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. I get so many comments about this thing, whether they're telling me that they like it or they're telling me to shave that stuff off your face. It looks horrible. Get rid of it. What is that? <laughs> so I'd be curious to know from you guys what y'all think of it down in the comments below. All right, here we go. So I start from the bottom and I just kind of move my way up and then I make, I put my tongue right here at the front to make like a dip to kind of push everything out so I can get a nice clean and even cut. Here we go. Start off right here in the back.
There you go. Nice one pass there. Got a nice uh, cut all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and go again just to make sure we got everything good. It's usually a couple little scragglers there. And so that's how I use this particular thing. Y'all can see this is what one eighth looks like or three millimeters. Gives it nice and short, but still enough to be able to see it so that I can shave around it whenever it is time for me to shave. Uh, now, whenever it comes to cleaning it, like I said, they give you this little brush right here, which I'm not a fan of but uh, it will get the job done. See, the problem is that this thing is so big, you have to sit here and like, I mean, I guess for getting underneath here, it's really nice, but I prefer to just to take my older big brush and just boom, 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 done. Easy, cheesy, Japanesey. So if you guys want to see, look down here into the sink of what actually got cut, this is what we're looking at right there, and this is about the size that we got cut right there, one eighth, uh, all the way down to the one eighth. So, perfect for me. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, I'll link it up down in the description below. If you guys want to see uh, another video that I did of wall products, because I've reviewed a few wall products, I'm going to put those right there on the screen, a little playlist of videos. You guys go click those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated, and dad out.